and so the following sectors infrastructure sectors affordable housing mass rapid transport healthcare renewable energy and how many of the above does UNOPS sustainable investments in infrastructure and innovation that's what S3I stands for yes I I I sustainable investments in infrastructure and innovation initiative focus for its investments seems to be a fact oriented question there's no doubt in it but before going ahead with answer let me make it clear the context in which the question has been asked so I think you know the fact you might have studied maybe in certain other subjects you might have studied about UN sustainable development goals United Nations development programs and that's somewhere in 1970s 1973 I guess isn't it and these so-called nations are expected to achieve these targets or the goals by 2030. So United Nations Development Program has come with certain sustainable development goals and part of it you have these so-called S3I initiative and we are going to okay, achieve the, I mean the target here happens to be 2030, then why is the question now? Post-COVID, you might be coming across this particular news, post-COVID, lot many nations are experiencing a severe shortage of uh, capital with respect to investment in these particular sectors and that is expected to be around 2.5 trillion dollars of a gap that these developing nations are experiencing so there is a severe shortage of capital among these so-called developing nations and that's what's been in use in the recent that's true post covid in fact around 1 trillion dollars has been spent by these developing economies to overcome this so-called covid crisis and that seriously has impacted the ability of the developing nations to realize or invest good amount of money to achieve these objectives. And that's the context. And you've been asked a question related to STI initiative. So in fact, the STI initiative as such, I don't really think, okay, it makes, re makes sense giving the list, but I hope you could easily make it out by looking at uh, the question itself. The STI initiative, the key sustainable investments in infrastructure and innovation broadly focuses on affordable housing, affordable housing, renewable energy renewable energy and healthcare it's been clearly mentioned in the document itself so the only exception here in this case is the mass rapid transport which is not part of STI initiative but the question is that is it a fact or is it really a conceptual based that's not the question the purpose is why the UPSC has asked the question simple the reason it's been in the news is the severe shortfall or a great shortfall of capital investments when it comes to the developing nations in order to achieve these goals. And in this context, they happen to look at what really happened to contribute the S3I initiative. Got it? So I guess by this you would be able to figure it out. Option C happens to be the most important. 